We are in the Wind Garden, which is a small stand of eucalyptus trees in what I'm told is called the theater district of the campus of UCSD. The Wind Garden is the 19th public artwork added to the Stewart Collection on the UC San Diego campus. Adam's audio sculpture officially opened on Monday, but I was at the site a year ago when the project was beginning its installation. Well, what we're installing over a period of months is a piece that was proposed by a composer, John Luther Adams. So the Stewart Collection is a collection of many different artworks by significant contemporary visual artists. This is our first adventure into the world of music. I'm a composer and so even when I do something like this that is more of a, a sculptural project, I still think of as a composer. So this is a musical composition in the form of a garden. Everything is composed, but it's not played by human musicians, it's played by the wind. And it's not heard inside in a concert hall. It's heard outside in the real world. You, you might think of this as what we're doing as creating a, a, a big wind harp, an aeolian harp, that you can actually walk through, that you can be inside of. And you can sit and settle in inside of this big instrument and hear the music of, of these trees as they dance in the wind. The music will interact with the uh, life movement for the trees. So uh, you can see there's a small uh, sensors in the, on the trees, and when the wind blows through the woods, the, tr the branch move and uh, interact with the sound. You hear, you feel the wind blow through first, you see the trees moving, then you hear the sound was different. It's something you might not even realize is a work of art, and that's exactly how composer John Luther Adams wanted it to be. Absolutely, we want to be right on that, that threshold of perception. Especially someone walking by on the, on the outside, you know, going from one appointment to the next in a hurry, may not, may register, oh, I heard something, what was that, but just, just keep, keep right on going. Uh, another person may just be more receptive at that moment and may get drawn in. That would be a lovely thing, you know, the accidental passerby that discovers this place. What a wonderful thing that will be. But a lot of work and technology went into creating the wind garden. We have 32 loudspeakers, 32 motion detectors, 32 accelerometers stationed in 32 different trees. So it's like a 32 voice choir or orchestra. And we're not, the, the instruments, the, 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 the sensors, are not measuring the wind per se, they're measuring the movement of the trees. And of course these trees are different ages, different heights, different, different thicknesses, they're in different locations, so each one behaves in a unique way. And uh, that's part of what we're, we're doing now is, is fine tuning. Mute 25. Oh, 25, okay, got it. Listening to each tree and, and, and learning to, to hear its voice and then fine tuning how it fits into the larger choir. We might change the tones to another tree because those tones are just, that tree is just too active for those tones, right. you know what I mean? Okay. We might voice it that way. And yet I hope that when you come and experience this, all of that will be invisible. And um, It'll just be you listening in this place. So in a way, I want all of our work to disappear. Adams may be the creative mastermind behind the project, but the brains of the operation are located in a closet at the Mandel Weiss Theater, as Yen Chung Yang points out. Is this it? Yep, that's the brain of the, <laughs> the, this project. So we got computers, we got sound systems, and we have another computer that uh, works for the sensor system. The result of all this technology is that the wind garden will never sound the same twice. Each visitor's experience will be unique. Adams hopes the project will make people think about music in a new context. If you extend the right kind of invitation to a listener, people are, are very open-minded, very open-eared. I've been amazed and delighted by how open 
how receptive audiences are to listening to music outdoors and expanding their idea of what music is. That's precisely what the Stewart Collection strives to do, to place art in unexpected everyday settings so we begin to question what art is. The Wind Garden does this in a unique way through sound. Bafakamando, KPBS News.